had to start the video a little early because holy crap, we got some more new news to talk about for Legends right now. Yes, I am back doing Legends videos. It is crazy right now. I'm going to bum rush, go through this really fast because holy crap. We got a brand new Vegeta Blue. We're going to break him down, talk about him and everything. Of course, it's literally crazy right now. Like, it's it's crazy. Like, <laughs> And this stuff is going to be cooking too. Look, I got to find a good Vegeta Blue because, again, it was so obvious. The drone demonstration was like seven minutes. I loved it. It was awesome. They did really unique stuff with that. The Dragon Ball swishing for Vegito Blue. Fun. But yeah, I'm not going to spoil it too much though, of course, because I know you guys going to want to watch the stream, like what happened, but after that and everything, of course, not going to spoil it too much for you guys, though, of course. Boom, right there. Older Vegito Blue. We got brand new screenshots. This new intro. Chef's Kiss. The damage armor, the battle damage Goku and Vegito look great. I had a screenshot of this by accident. I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect for the video. A new Ultra coming. Boom. Just like Godita's with the eyes and Rose with the eyes. Everybody with the eyes. He's confirmed. He's here for Legends. He is awesome. And he is cooking. And we go. So we got a brand new mechanic with him, which we're going to talk about soon, of course. And we got Dragon Ball Super, the dynamic, um, Chozet's dynamic. Again, so, I'm so used to, just, like, knowing, like, kind of like how Japanese works. Because, again, Chozetsu means, like, I think Chozi, like, Chozetsu means, like, strong and super. I've, again, watching Beyblade really did help me out with that, though. But, yeah, um, because Chozetsu slash, you know, um, Chozi. I think that's what it's going to, like, Chozetsu, like, Chozets. I think it's, like, demonic or godlike, I believe. Core dynamic, pretty much the opening for Dragon Ball Super is going to be playing during the anniversary. Make sure, to, if you're doing a video, make sure, you know, it's not copyrighted. It is copyrighted, so make sure to just, you know, close it out when you can. Just, like, don't play the music as you're doing the video. That's why I always add music to my videos. They're not copyrighted. It's usually all sonic music, and I love it. All right, on to the boy. Let's break them down here. This is insane, though. So, yeah, again, I haven't done a breakdown in, like, forever. I love Legend of Justice, though, for itself, because, my God, it's all organized. It is all beautiful. But, yeah, back up this video right away, though. So, that's why I'm jumping into it right now with all the, um, with one unit. I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll just do this. I don't mind. But, yeah, of course, it's in full screen and everything. Make sure it's recording and everything. So, yeah, of course. All right, let's go down to the ability. Um, three, of course, it's fully maxed out. His, he has ultra tag, he's red, he's melee type, his tags are Super Saiyan, Future of Patara, Fusion Warrior, God Key, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Again, I, I run God Key, so for me, more buffs the better again. Ending with Vegeta was the best idea. Everybody's been saying this. I can agree with this too. Ending with Vegeta was a better idea, in my opinion, because, again, everybody was building up to it. I him or Super Saiyan for Gogeta. I think Vegeta Blue was a better choice again. Second year was Vegeta Blue, third year was Vegeta Blue, fourth year was Vegeta Blue, fifth year. Because last year we had a Vegeta Blue, we had the, um, again, every year has been a Vegeta. And the fusions do cook, they literally make all the money. People are like, oh, they don't, Vegeta, oh, so they to go go in Vegeta, oh my gosh, oh, they're so lame. But when Dallas Celebration comes out, to be double Vegeta? Honestly, I would love that though, like Vegeta Blue and then like Super Vegeta. I don't know, like a Goku Vegeta that goes into it. Um, that also would be awesome though too. A lot of people have been thinking that for Down Celebration for Doken on their part. Honestly, I would love that too. I would love that for Down Celebration. I feel like that fits right. Because you know, we had it for anniversary last year. This year makes sense. And we haven't had a Vegito in like a good year or so. A good, maybe a year or two now, honestly, at this point. Because this anniversary. Yeah, dang, it has been crazy. So maybe Down Celebration could be double Vegito. I would love that. Then like part two can be like Go Tanks and. Uh, so we're going to go to, like, Kevlar. People have been digging that, too. Which actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Because they were the fusions. And it makes sense. I'll be like, I think it's, like, people, you know, crypto fusions to Masu and, like, a new Buon. And that'd be cool, too. But again, so many new ideas for that, of course. Again, Legends has paragraphs to read, so we're going to go right into it. Just going to be talking about it. Give my full thoughts and opinions and everything again. Go explain it. Go over as fast as I can. If I talk fast, I don't care. I... Because everybody's like, Hi, bro, you talk so fast. Oh, my gosh. Like... Everything's at max. Like, turn up your volume or delete the freaking video. I'm just kidding. 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 All right, let's go into it. Of course, uh, Z ability, uh, 3% diffusion tag, super special move damage inflicted, um, by 38, by 38% fusion, um, fusion warrior or future, um, tags, base strike attack and defense up, um, during battle. Um, his ultra ability, if this character is a leader, he applies following effects, uh, when the battle, when the battle starts. 30% damage inflicted. 30% to keep recovery, both cannot be cancelled. If this character is not a leader, he applies the following effects per himself to himself. Per fusion of warrior tag, slash battle support, or support battle member with battle starts, 5% of damage inflicted cannot be cancelled, 5% to keep recovery cannot be cancelled, up to 
up to three battle members for three um, support members can be countered. So that right there, his unique abilities uh, apply the following effects to self uh, when this character starts, when the battle starts. All these cannot be cancelled besides um, this one right here. 150% uh, uh, damage inflicted, 30% to strike damage inflicted. Um, reduces damage received by 70%, increases card draw speed level by 1, increases card draw speed level by 1 for 30 counts. Um, and of course, minus 5% to strike cost, which also cannot be canceled. Applies buff effects. The buff enemies destroys cards um, effects for 30, um, 30 counts. Again, I think Video Blue might be the best in the game now. I think Oak Freeza were, but how they are. I think, you know, I think Game One too were the best. Again, like I said, J Legends always con constantly cop tops over every unit. Like, you know, Dragon Ball Super Broly, the original Sparking, when he came out, he was purple. He was, like, good, like, for like a few, like a month. After that, it's like, yep, yeah, here's Gogeta. Oh, here's another, again, they're constantly, even like cooler, like he's falling off. Korean, not falling off, but like in Legends, it's like new LF cooler. I heard he kind of like died off too. I'm like, oh my god. His art isn't like, amazing though. Like, I can use some of those arts for uh, Doken. So, the game about Legends though, you can always reuse arts from Doken or them. So, yeah, yeah, they always constantly tick around each other anyway. So, yeah. A fun effects occur when this character um, enters the battle. It enters the battlefield, draws a spell strike card. Draws, uh, again, I started a lot with Legends, so because he's pair called long passives. Draws a strike card next, 20% to um, on key recovery, 15% to um, counts. A positive buff effect nullifies enemy special actions that um, act, that's the archive act, um, activate when cover changes to suffer five time accounts, steals enemies, um, rising rush for five counts. Holy crap, thank you for being broken. Thank you. Which is advantage engage up by 0%, activates zero times. I had to be once, zero times. That's it, I, that's it, my like 50 hit, but 5,000 gunner crystals every time you're on the field. His other unique abilities, I started popping the mic, that usually happens a lot. Uh, change his own unique gauge every time this character uses uh, an arts car while it's right there on the battlefield. Once the unique gauge is full, reset to zero. Applies the following effects to self, draws a special move card next, restores our health by 10%, key up by 50%, with 30% to damage received. The damage afflicted for 15 time accounts cannot be cancelled. 40% to key recovery for 15 time accounts cannot be cancelled. Apply the buff effect and nullifies enemy special actions that activate cover changing for 5 time accounts. Again, like I said, he's all based off time accounts, so he gets stronger with his strikes, his, um, with his health, his strikes, buffing up everybody else. Yeah, I think that's good, good support. I think, I think him and, no, I think him and Rosé, I think, feel like are similar to that. Him and, um, him and, um, I think him and Yellow Rosé are pretty much like the same unit. Or it might be Ultra or LF, or LF. There's so many different Rosés in the game, which I'm happy about too, because I can't make a living with that. Um, but yeah. Applies, uh, his other abilities, of course, applies the following effects to self when the battle starts. Applies buff effect, nullifies um, enemies, reduce Dragon Balls, which you can't take Dragon Balls. Um, I think so also could do that too. So yeah, he's kind of like yeah, was the monster too, like a complete opposite. So that's good. They're opposites for um. But yeah, he's an ultra unit. So I mean, ultra you on the game at this point though. Again, yeah, I follow legends. Been doing this since day one, since the beta release, and everybody's been talking about it though. Yeah. For twenty time accounts cannot be canceled. Applies the following effects to self on health. If on health is remaining above fifty percent or below fifty percent or below, let me just tell that. After being hit by enemies, um, arts attack while this character is on the battlefield activates once. Because it's Dragon Balls by one, which is pretty good there, there. Um, pause following, um, effects to self when this character activates Rising Rush, increases Dragon Balls by one. Uh, 4% to keep recovery, nullifies enemies of inflated for element factors for 10 time accounts. All those, both of those cannot be canceled. Nullifies enemies, restores health, uh, which is zero. And, of course, like, another revive killer. I'm, I'm so glad that meta's over because I hate all those revive units. Like, reviving, like, every unit, every turn, everything. Like, it was horrible. I was, getting back to Legends at that time, it was not fun. This character attacks uh, three counts. The following effects occur when this character defeats an enemy, restores on advantage, gets by 100, and recruits his health by 10%, which I heard about that, so I was really good there. Um, a special cover chain against strike attacks, combo ball with special move cards. Again, when he, when like, someone gets a hit, hit, like a blast hit, he clearly counters. Like when he screwed Demos, 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 uh, like Sun Disc mixed type attack, so there you go with that. Plus, following effects itself. Um, if Owen health is preventing uh, 50% or above after being hit by uh, enemy attack while his character is on the battlefield, after being once good though, have the health restriction because he's already you know, buffing and destroying, doing everything else though. Enough as on favorable element factors, the damage was still substituted by 30 counts, uh, gets the attribute down, grades add normal conditions, special moves, special arts, counters with um, enemies, um, trap card, tap card, tap cards. 
uh, strike attacks or boss attacks while it's um, in fighting pose, which we've already seen with all these ultras and everything. Because they you know, unique abilities and everything. But I think they release ultra like every like three months, so three or four months now. Because I think like, ultra could do ultra Gogeta, what's the last one? It makes sense. Ultra Gogeta, Vegeta Blue. Again, like I said, they do balance them out though with the, with the leaders, and you know, so you can't like overpower them and everything, which makes sense. Long effects occur when they counter attacks, when, when the counter activates, randomly destroys one, one of your own cars and draws a special wolf card next, activates once, or uh, zone key up by 50%, inflicts enemies, uh, enemy with that to be downgrade minus 100%, health restoration for 10 time accounts. Combo both special moves and ult cards. Last one, finally, who ultimate arts deals supreme impact damage. Oh, that's new. I, I think that's I've seen that before in Legends. Supreme Impact Damage, actually sounds... Rolls off the tongue well, Supreme Impact Damage. Supreme Impact Damage. Supreme Impact Damage. That's good. Applies um, the following effects to self upon activation. 20% to ultimate damage inflicted uh, for 3 count. Nullifies enemies, uh, restores no health uh, when it reaches 0 effects when the character is attacks 3 or more um, counts. A predation of the damage of a portion. Does it portion? Portion. Portion of the damage. Like they will also be dealt with enemies members um enemies members to stand by on hit which is good though of course it cannot be caused to be defeated it only just destroys it only destroys health pretty much activates all uh, own arts action on hit which um which we've seen this which we are i'm going to talk about is it's a new tap thing which you have to do once he does it like an ultimate you get tap and the more the you know, more you do it the stronger it gets i'm fucking gonna mess up on that though but that does sound fun though make the attack feel more impactful like like if you're like button mashing or like just tapping in a game in general i just feel like the like the effect the action should be big and catastrophic like indestructive like this 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 feels great activates um um, art, uh, art action, so that's confirmed right there. The following effects occur if the button is pressed enough times during the time limit, increases damage towards all your enemies' um, cards. Blast armor returning forward. Okay, that's a new mechanic we saw with the tapping. Vegeta Blue again, like I said, he probably is the best unit in the game. Like, he legit, uh, this is the new mechanic, so he gets you got tapping that to get it stronger, so that's what it was. To me, he sums up as a fusion, a crazy fusion buff with the leader skill, even without the leader skill, it's just buffing up fusions, pretty much, which makes sense. Of course, him and Zamasu could be going team together, but forget about the two in fusions. But yeah, I got like a lot of his, uh, yeah, I feel like a lot of his is just pretty much destroying cards, drawing cards, buffing up his um, team members. Um, Yeah, key recovery, and yeah. He feels like some awesome, like, he feels like the free plays in Goku. I think there's like one, one Goku Black. I think it might be the um, yellow free to play one, in which he is back. I'm going to farm him out as soon as I can. And, um, like, yeah, red, like, red Zamasu. Like, a red elf Zamasu from year two, year three. I can't remember this point anymore. Um, but yeah, like, yeah, he, he's good. Like, he feels like a supreme powerful unit. Like, he feels like a really good buff, honestly. Though, like I haven't like felt like a felt like a good unit in Legend like in a minute. And this guy feels, I know, because I know Goku and Freezer felt different, which was really good though there with that. But yeah, this guy, he seems he's like, he's gonna be a mess. And I love it. I love when they go all out for units, even like in general, like ultra units in general. Even though they're supposed to be crazy, you know, of a step above the rest. You know, new mechanic, new ideas, and everything. But yeah, the Vegeta Blue feels like a completely different unit. I haven't, felt like, I haven't felt like this in a, in a minute, though, so that's crazy. But yeah, pretty much it for the video, though, so for that, of course. But yeah, though, see you guys there, though, of course. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Great. I'll follow you again, though. If you want to stay safe, watch hands, come by. all of you from what I play with my mask. I'm still picking for you. You do give myself again. Go outside, just some guys, you can copy them. So, for all my friends, the Discord social service, where you guys are awesome. What do you guys think of all this? Of course, I cheated again. Very simple, very easy, like I said, though. I'm going to keep it on this one, though. I want to keep it on this one. It looks so good. This one looks like, eh. But I mean, hey, whatever's whatever. Old Video Blue is coming to Legends. What do you guys think? I love it all. Looks beautiful, looks awesome though. See you guys there, Logan, though. Peace out.